This is what I found about 15 years ago in the woods. Whoops, sorry. In the woods. So this is what it started out. Oh. In the woods. I found it in the woods. It took me about two hours to drag it out. And then I had it for years. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but it looked too sad to throw away. So I took it and kept it. When I moved down here from and more. This is actually found right outside of Annapolis, Maryland, back in the woods. And I, I just had it, and I just thought I had a whole bunch of stuff in the uh, garage, and I said, I'm going to build something. With it. This is um, fashioned after a 27 Ford Speedster, but it's titled a 2018. Well, I, I, you know, I enjoy building stuff and like of creating so 75 i've got two or three more projects left hopefully more but it's a 1972 chevelle ss 454 the engine's been bored 30 uh, it's 462 about 550 horsepower now uh, 411 in uh, rear end Turbo, hydromatic, three speed. Um, gets about six and a half miles to a gallon because it's turning a lot of RPMs when you're running 55 miles an hour. Uh, Craig Hopkins, who you may have seen on some of the car shows on TV, did the metal work over in Georgia. And uh, then David Harvey with Harvey Restorations did the paint body work here. Uh, it took 12 years to build it. And we completed it in 2016. So, haven't had it out on a lot of shows. Uh, well, we've owned the car for 25 years. We lived in Indiana when we bought it. And the car only has 58,000 miles on it. And then when we moved here to Athens five years ago, I decided to upgrade it with a Camaro Super Sport engine. All of the suspension is new on it, new exhaust, uh, new wheels and tires. But I tried to keep the car as much 56 as I could, even with the upgrades on it. We just love driving, it's much more comfortable now. It has air conditioning, which is a little bit important in Alabama.